In my last video, I shared the uh, Cedar Acacia Kala baritone with some new strings on it. The Living Water Low G C E A. And after I shared that with you guys, I said I'd come back and just do a comparison of the two. Just uh, the sound, the tone uh, between the regular tuning of a baritone. This is um, D, G, B, E, and then that's G, C, E, A. So I'm just going to play the same thing on both of them, really just so you guys can hear the difference and you can, you know, make your pick. Oh, I like that. I don't. Oh, I should try that or I shouldn't. Uh, kind of thing. That's the only reason because some people have not heard uh, a baritone tuned both ways. They've only ever heard this one. And most of them it is a low D. I have done it with high D before, but uh, low D, G, B, E, that's the linear tuning. And the reason I'm doing this is because on Ukulele Underground, many times people will say, oh, hey, I want to go to a baritone for my regular ukulele, what do I need to know? Oh, you don't need to know anything. Just play the regular chord shapes. It's a different name for a chord. Well, it, it is a different name for a chord, but it's a different tone. It's a different volume. It's different. So my personal opinion is, yes, you already know a on this. Now, the way I remember it is D, G, B, E. When I do this chord shape, that's a D on this basically a guitar as far as the strings go the lower four strings of a guitar D G B E this is a D when I move this chord shape to a, a, a regularly tuned G C E A it's now a G so if it's a D it's here but I go to the other one same shape yes but it's a G you need to know that you cannot not know that. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it stresses your brain a little bit, and especially going back and forth like this really does. But you need to know that because if you play with anybody else, you need to know what your chord shapes are. I took this uh, baritone to a uke jam, and everyone was playing regular ukulele, G, C, E, A. So when they played a G chord, did I play this? No, I did not. I had to play this. So you, you've got to know, okay, you, you already have the chord shapes in your muscle memory, but now you've got to connect with the chord names. You've got to do that. Otherwise, you're going to be out of key. So, um, Christmas time is here. It almost is. Now, if we take this instrument and we capo it up, because some people will say this, well, you don't need to have two ukes because you can tune your, you can just have a baritone. And then when you want to play with, in the GCEA, all you have to do is you have to capo at the fifth fret. So here we are at the fifth fret. Now this sounds just like a ukulele with a low G. What's the problem? Well, there's a couple problems, actually. <laughs> One is I hate playing with the capo. It's always in my way. I always run into it. So um, I, I really never use a capo. The only time I ever use a capo is when I'm playing guitar in a bluegrass jam. So I'll go up to capo at the second fret, and now I can play my G shape, but I'm actually playing an A. That's really the only time I ever use a capo. And that's mainly so I can do my G runs and my walk downs and, and all that stuff. So, yes, you can do this. But if you want to play Christmas Time is Here, you start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up here. And I have no cutaway. So it's going to be very uncomfortable. 
and uh, you obviously have a lot less range. Your tension is different. So my personal opinion is, uh, and this is just Vic, if you're gonna play baritone, play baritone. Low D, G, B, E. Oh, you could tune it differently. Do whatever tuning you wanna do, that's fine. Uh, but um, if you wanna have both, get both, if you have the financial means to do so. Now, obviously, in this particular video, I'm using another baritone tune, G, C, E, A. So yes, it will sound very similar to my tenor, but it's a different size box, it's a different scale, so there's going to be some little differences. So now, let's go to that, remembering what we strummed on that. So let's just, just quickly, okay, here's your D. Right? Okay. Same size box, same size scale. Sounds exactly the same, right? Oh, wait, no. You're probably going, wow, that's totally different. It is. This is tuned like uh, what I would say is a regular ukulele. And obviously, you can use different tunings on, on uh, ukuleles. But the standard would be G, C, E, A. Just like that one, capable it up five frets. And then remember, you're going up two more frets to do this. Remember, this is G, C, E, A. So this now becomes a G. I think I might have said that somewhere along there. The tension's much different. This is a much higher tension. Remember, you're tuning much higher, obviously. So your strings are going to be tighter. And some people like that. Some people don't. Some people, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I do like the baritone. Uh, just the, it, they're, they're much, um, much less tension. I wouldn't say easier to play. Probably easier to play for a longer period of time. So here again, we have your G, and I remember that because this is G, C, E, A. So now this is a G. C, G, D seventh. You gotta know that. different. So uh, my encouragement to you is listen to these and go, oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, I like that. That's nice. And well, I don't like the baritone with the GCEA. Well, basically, that's just a regular ukulele with a bigger box on a longer scale. You just don't like the baritone maybe because you're used to this. I like it. It's kind of something different. Um, I like different things sometimes. I get easily bored. That's been my issue my entire life. So I love the sound. I like the I like the all solid mahogany. I'll put uh, the, the links down here for both of these as far as the reviews go. Obviously, these are different woods, so they're going to sound a little bit different. Now, we're going to go to the other end of the scale here pretty soon because I'm going to do another review, a new review on my uh, uke blog and here on YouTube for a new uke I just got. I've got two more ukes on the way, actually, um, and I bought two last week. So, we're going to go literally to the other end of the scale.
Sopranino. Dinky. <laughs> Very nice, but dinky. I mean, come on, look. Here they are together. <laughs> ah, wow. A lot different. So, anyway, uh, this will be the next review. View, there'll be another ukulele, a couple of... Um, uh, regular ukulele, a soprano, a couple of, uh, there'll be this one, there'll be a, a couple of sopranos, I'm going to do a comparison between an Ohana uh, ukulele, soprano, and a Cordoba. Very interesting. So those two, I'm going to do inter individual reviews and then do a comparison between the two. They're both the same. They're both uh, solid mahogany top laminated back and sides. And then when I receive it from ukulele site, I will review my first Koaloha Opio. This is going to be a long-necked soprano. So it's a soprano body with a concert scale of 15 inches. So quite a, bu quite a bit of stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. Um, I really appreciate that. And um, I will see you down the road. Hope this helped. Bye.